Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Fallout 2. We are in uh, another part of uh, New Reno. And there's a guy named Jagged Jimmy J. Let's go talk to him. What's up? This man has a slight facial tick and a scar down one of his cheeks. The scar looks like a knife wound. Sister, I had my eye on you since you walked down the street. You know what I see? Cut the chatter, you stupid. Sorry, not in. Uh, what do you see? I see a pilot. I see someone who wants to fly. You just need a little help, a little jet. Uh, look, I'm not... And my pilot friend when it comes to jet, Jagged Jimmy J's your man. I got the best shit in New Reno, pure jet, straight jet, the safest jet. Uh, look, I'm not interested. Other dealers, they don't care about quality, but me, I like keeping my customers base and keeping them happy. You know what I'm saying? It's just my way. The Jimmy J way. Uh, hey, the, uh, Jimmy J way sounds great and all, and that's why I had some questions. Uh, no, I don't think so. So what do you say? What could J Jagged Jimmy J do for you today? Well, let's see what you have to barter. You do have stim packs, and I do like stim packs. Um... 700... What about one of these? 750, all right, 21, uh, how much is that? That is one, yeah. Mine, all mine, thank you. Okay, that's a good trade. Um, how'd you get that scar, Jimmy? Jagged Jimmy J's got a lot of love, my pilot friend, but the world don't always love Jagged Jimmy J back, see? I hear you, I hear you. Points at a scar. I got this while I was stopping this one big ugly son of a bitch from hitting this chick because she didn't like the way he was touching her, right? Serious? Man, guys who beat up women deserve to be laid low. Gets into a fighting stance. So as I step in, right, and he pulls a knife on old G JJ. I ain't got nothing on me but my bare hands, right? So he gets in a lucky cut before I, bam, canceled his ass. No shit, I don't think I could have had the iron to step in like that. Hell, that man could have killed you. He almost did, too. You know, when I get into it, I wasn't thinking, like, I'm gonna be Mr. Brave Man and all, but... I just did what was natural to you, right? Yeah, yeah. I just saw something wrong and I had to do something, right? No way I could let something like that go on while I was on the scene, you know? You got balls to do what you did, Jimmy. Most people would have just hung their heads, walked away. I like people, and I ain't like it when somebody messes with someone else, just because they can. That shit's, ju that shit's just wrong. You're a brave man, Jimmy, a brave man. Wear your scar with pride. Say, can I see what you have in stock? Hello, my pilot friend, I like you, so don't be pulling up that barter screen with its fuses and wires and all. Uh, okay, then how are we gonna deal? <laughs> so, little, uh... A little bit of uh, lampshading there. Look, this is bad business and all, and don't go telling nobody about it, but let me give you some jet tween friends. Next time, of course, you gotta pay, but this one's on Jagged Jimmy J, alright? Hey, thanks. I had some other questions. You got wants? You got questions? What is it... What is it that can Jagged Jimmy J, J do for you today? Uh, where do you get your jet, Jimmy? Glad you asked, my pilot friend. Glad you asked. See, all them other dealers, right? They get their shit secondhand, watered down, diluted with all sorts of shit. Uh, but your jet, on the other hand... Me, I got ties to the creator, my pilot friend. I get my jet straight from the Brainiac, the living god of chem and compounds, Myron. Myron, huh? Can I meet this? No, just go with Myron. Yeah, he's family... M more than his golden boy. He made Jet. Buying from Jagged Jimmy is like buying from Myron himself, you hear? That's why JJ got the pure Jet. The best Jet. I think I could meet this Myron. Hell no! The Mordino's got that boy locked up tighter than a new Reno Virgin. No way they're gonna let anybody gonna touch their livelihood. Know what I'm saying? I hear you. So, uh, how much security they got on this guy? Guards, guards, and more guards, plus the tightest electronic security in New, New Reno. You'd be lucky if you even hear about somebody seeing Myron. He's so well guarded. 
Well guarded, huh? Where exactly? They got them stationed at this place call, called the Stables, to the north, outside the city limits. i only been there once. They never let me pass the gates, and I work for the family. Come on, there must be some way I could see them. The Stables, huh? Outside of town to the north. I'll just record that on my Pip-Boy real quick here. Beats the hell out of me, friend. I sell for the boy, and I ain't hardly seen him but once or twice from a hundred yards away. Big Jesus Mordino don't let nobody near him who ain't tight with the family. Okay. Let me go back through that. There we go. I marked it down. Uh, let's see. Golden Go Globes Porn. Well. Seems fine. Don't know why I hadn't seen the door before. Hey, Sue, look, anything else, uh... What, Jibby? You gotta say about this place? Spirits be willing... Right is right. What right is right, huh? Spirits be willing to talk. Still waters don't run at all. Alright, thanks. Graffiti, graffiti... My poster? This is a movie poster for a horror horror film from pre-war days. Can I look at this? Wow! I was expecting to get warned. Okay. Um. Let's load. Guess I gotta talk to, uh... Jagged Jimmy J again. Well. Let's just go through all of this again. See what you have in stock. Oh, you gave me two things of jet. Oh, like I said, I needed some. No, not not all, just one of these. And one of those. There we go. Alright. I had some other questions. Where'd you get your jet? I'll ah, just mark that down. Alright. Okay, so, um... Don't check that, uh... That thing without saving first. I suppose I should just get in that habit, shouldn't I? Alright, so we got uh, Corsican Brothers, Corsican Brothers Bodyguards, the Corsican Brothers at your service. Glances up irritated, then does a double take. You're the new fluffer? Uh, what's a fluffer? Well, what am I thinking? You come in here a class act and I babble like an idiot. Look, honey tits, sorry about th that. Say, um, you looking for work? None of that fluffing shit. I'm talking acting, see? Uh, first off, what is this place? This place? This here is the Golden Globes, a film studio, honey. The only one in Reno, probably the only one still erected standing, see? Now, you gonna talk my ears off or you want a job? How do you film? I mean, come on, you need cameras, film, projectors. Where would you get that stuff? Eh, we lucked out. 
We don't need any of that Stone Age crap. We stumbled across a working porno, uh, holographic projector. No bulky equipment, no fuss, and no unsightly mess. Uh, nice talking to you, but I have to be going. I don't think I want the job that you're offering. Well, this place, uh, sure does look lovely, doesn't it? You haven't been here in ages, huh, Vic? Uh, cattle prod, rad scorpion limbs. Oh my. I'll take it all, though. Stay away from there. Aw, oh, come on. I'm dancing at the casinos on Thursdays. Catch my act and bring some chips. A fluffer. I wish some of the actors would shower. I mean a regular shower. Ew. Oh, well. I was actually not trying to get to the shelf, but... They're not going to get pissy at me. There's a blow-up doll. Are you one of the janitors? Y yes, yes, I'm, I'm cleaning. That's why I'm wearing metal armor. Ooh, hello. Rot gut, booze, beer, take it all. Mine. All mine. Actually, let's, uh, talk to you. You couldn't possibly imagine the stress of my life. Look, I am getting attacked by raiders all the time. Come on. Oh, please stop bothering me. I'm trying to memorize these lines. I I don't think that uh, ooh ooh ah ah count as lines, lady. I mean, that really, how how hard is it to uh, memorize? Oh, harder, harder. Can't go in there. Red letter with the word a red sign with the word stop written in large block letters. I guarantee I'm better than that pit boy attachment you've been using. Eh, I don't know about that, lady. Salvatore's bar. This will go in. You uh, you have stuff for sale? What's your poison, darling? What kind of chems do you have? Seem to basically have the same stuff as that other guy. All right, goodbye. One of Salvatore's men. New Reno townsfolk. I'm not poor. I just have rotten luck. You gonna get pissy if I try to open this door? No, it doesn't seem like it. Alright, nothing there. Let's go up the stairs. Ooh, hello. Ah, oh, can't carry that much. Uh, Sulik. What you be need? I need you to uh, hold on to some rad scorpion limbs for me. Also, the cattle prod? It's a weapon. Small energy cells. Yeah, go ahead and hold on to that. For now. Just so that I can carry some more stuff. More booze. Um, just more Salvatore's men, huh? Touch that door again, and I'll turn you into a torch. Mason. You done walking in the wrong place, tribal. Get it? Uh, what's behind that door? Behind that door? 
That door right here, right there? Well, that's Mr. Salvatore's room. Now beat it. I want to see Mr. Salvatore. I want a job. Look, dipshit, do you still want to have your job tomorrow? I have some info about one of the other families in Reno that Mr. Salvatore is going to want to hear. So let me speak to him now. Uh, well, not barter. All right, I'm leaving. We will uh, deal with the uh, families later. I would like to find the guy that I need to talk to for an item that I need to purchase. See, I really feel like uh, the posters are not graffiti. Bishop's men. Hey, we had a uh, we had a suitcase to deliver. All right, bartender. Uh, who's that old fellow by the crappy slot slot machine? I didn't even notice this, but uh, sure. Oh, you mean old man McGee? He's mostly harmless. Spent near a fortune on that old slot machine and hasn't seen a return in years. Anyways, can I get you something, friend? Yeah, what kind of chems do you have? Alright, I'm good. Let's see, are you gonna get pissy? Yeah, you guys are getting pissy. I can come in here, but we can't actually uh, interact with these shelves, so. Alright, old slot machine. Where is this old slot machine? Can I science this computer? Fail to learn anything. Nope. So where is this old man McGee? Median, huh? You suck. Well, I can go up here. Doesn't appear to be anyone in here. There also doesn't appear to be anything on the, that shelf. Or that shelf. Or that shelf. I don't mind me. All right, let's check the uh, desks. Apparently, the uh, this is a dressing room. I'm guessing that we're not finding anything in any of these. However, nope. It's rather disappointing. All right, so where is this old slot machine? No, not hidden there. Nothing that way. Hmm. I wish you could press a button and get, uh, like, name pop ups on people. Kind of surprised they let a prostitute actually work in here. No, 
Well, I don't see anything there. Um, a girl. That's a dealer. Okay. Is she still a girl? Yeah, that's how you bet. I genuinely don't know who he was talking about. Alright. Let's go down the stairs. See what we have in the basement. Ah, it looks like a boxing ring. Sort of. Doesn't seem like the kind of thing that I want to get involved in, though. I am probably not strong enough. Grr, grr, grr. Alright, fine. A boxer. You cannot get there. Well. Plated boxing gloves. I'll take that. Ooh. Can't carry that much. Well, I can carry that. Someone has accidentally slipped metal plates into these boxing gloves. It could technically be considered cheating, but you prefer to think of it as an increased opportunity to dispense bone-crushing damage. Weighs 10 pounds. Holy cow. Two to six damage, huh? What you be need? I needed to take some more stuff. We'll get the stuff back when I, uh, do some selling. Yeah, that doesn't weigh anything. Uh, I believe Cassidy has my, uh, other med kits, but... I'll take that for now. Someone also has, uh, empty syringes. Ooh, buff out! I need some more of that. Meat jerky! Punching bag. Exercise machine, bench press. Oh, hey. You guys did get in. Hey, don't, don't block me. We like your ears. Well, thank you. I'm glad you like my ears. Anything in here? Nope. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's anything else uh, to do here for now. Get, get get up the stairs. Stop blocking me, people. Nothing there. Nothing in that. Nothing in that. Judging from the crowd in the casino, looks like more human sewage washed into Reno. What do you mean I can't get there? Well, let's go talk to you. Woman turns to face you. She is quite attractive, with a low-cut dress made out of gold gecko skin. She studies you for a moment, then frowns. Yes, what is it? Uh, who are you? She raises an eyebrow. I think I should be the one asking that question. She crosses her arms. I'm Leslie Ann Bishop. My husband is the head of the Bishop family here in New Reno. And you are? 
My name is Elmandretta. I'm a simple traveler. I'm a traveler looking for Vault 13. Have you heard of it? I'm a traveler. Do you know where I could find something called the Garden of Eden Creation Kit? i go with that. I know where you could find a creation kit, but it will do you little good. It has already been used. Where is this Garden of Eden Creation Kit? Smiles faintly as if remembering something pleasant. Have you ever been to Vault City? It is northeast of New Reno. They had such a kit once, long ago, but they used it when they left their vault for the surface. I like you tell me about Vault City. Her smile fades and her expression becomes hard and distant. There's not much to tell. I think you'll find the climate there different. Now, is that all? No, I actually had some other questions. Uh, do you know where I can find a place called Vault 13? As I said, there is Vault City to the northeast. Is that the place you're referring to? No, wrong place, unfortunately. Hmm, well then I'm afraid I can't help you. Do you know anyone who might know? Dear girl, the people of Reno have enough difficulty remembering which whore they left their cocks in when they wake up in the morning, much less know where to find anything such as what you describe. Well, I had some other questions. Um... What can you tell me about Mr. Bishop? My husband, he is the head of the Bishop family. In matters of diplomacy, business, and criminal pursuits, he possesses a certain animal cunning that one cannot help but admire, however contemptible his other qualities. Other qualities? She frowns. I'll leave that to your imagination. Is that all? Uh, actually, I had some other questions. What can you tell me about the Bishop family? There really is nothing to say about the Bishop family. Oh, there is the extended family of hired thugs, mercenaries, whores, pushers, and slaves, but that is really all that the Bishop family amounts to. Sounds as if your marriage life isn't as healthy as it could be. No, my husband is in the business of accumulating power. That seldom leaves room for anything else. In addition, my precious daughter has quickly learned what being a woman means in New Reno. Your daughter? Yes, my daughter, Angela. She's become quite the little tramp. Smiles ruefully. Like mother, like daughter. Uh, now is that all? I had some other questions. Barter? No. Nope. Eh, never mind. I better be going. Hold on a moment, studies you. You seem to be new in town. Would you care to join me for a drink in my chambers? We can discuss New Reno. It's a dangerous place to those unfamiliar with its ways. Uh, sure, a drink would be welcome. She nods and smiles. Very well, follow me. Follow her. You join Mrs. Bishop for a drink in her chambers. The uh, two of you talk for a while, then she comes over and starts caressing you. Well, I mean, if, if I'm not paying for it. Ah, it's a bracer. <laughs> Just laid out, splayed on the bed, still in my armor. Passionate lovemaking commences. At the end of your sexual marathon, Mrs. Bishop curls up against you, smiling contentedly. Mmm, Elmandretta. Mmm, Leslie. Mrs. Bishop smiles, sighs contentedly, and stretches. You're not from New Reno, are you, Mrs. Bishop? You talk differently than a lot of the people around here. No, I don't talk like everyone around here. It's called an education. She rolls over. Go to sleep. Uh, where could I get an education? <sighs> you're already as smart as I want you to be. Now go to sleep. You're pumping me for information. If you're pumping me for information, then you're creating a deficit. Deficit here in bed? I did not. Uh, are you from Vault City? Cracks open one eye. Who told you that? I guessed after I heard you talk about Vault City. You got that nostalgic look in your eye. Her expression crumbles for a moment, then she rolls over so you can't see her. Don't mention that place. What happened? John happened. I used to live there. He visited once. I was pleasantly charmed because he was so... rough, I guess. Different from most Vault citizens. <sighs> of course, he let me try this little thing called Jet. Uh-oh. Jet's illegal in Vault City, of course. The other citizens found out and revoked my citizenship. John was the only one I could turn to. He knew that, of course. He'd planned the whole thing. 
So you got your education in Vault City. That's why you sound different from everyone else here in New Reno. They had memory enhancers for the Pip-Boys there. Had dictionaries and encyclopedias stored on them. Took one of the lingual enhancers when I left, though I don't know why. Where is this enhancer? <sighs> it's in my safe. Not much use without a Pip-Boy, though. Don't know why I still keep it. Can I have it? Sure, if you want them. Combination is 44, 57, 72. The enhancer is in a compartment on the bottom of the safe. A thief isn't going to, know to, going to find it unless they know what to look for. How do I use it? Just attach the headgear, place the optic sensor over your right eye, connect the other end hmm, to the Pip-Boy. You'll feel a slight rush, some nausea, then your head will feel clearer. Thanks. Say, I had some other questions. Look, I better go, Mrs. Bishop. Mrs. Bishop rolls over and closes her eyes. In a few seconds, she's asleep. Quietly slip out of bed and get dressed. I'm already dressed. But when we come back next time, after um, having n definitely not used her to get a, uh, an item that I can't get another way, uh, we'll be uh, getting said item and going our way. See you next time, everyone.